Hi everyone, uh, thanks for joining me here on my Facebook page. Uh, it's about, let's see, uh, 20 of 3. And uh, this will be the last update on uh, Joe the dog who was thrown from the moving van, the van that was moving down the road in Newport Ritchie here in Florida on um, Friday. Um, it's with a heavy heart and sadness that I have to tell you that um, that Joe didn't make it. Um, he underwent surgery or he was undergoing surgery and uh, there were complications from the surgery and um, yeah, they were, they had the surgeon, the doctor, the vet had a big job in front of him and that was to fix a dog. Diaphragm was broken um, and having to put all his internal organs that were pushed up and try and get them back in the right way. Um, he was sedated over the weekend. Um, he looked great over the weekend. I'm, I can't respond to anything right now because I'm at work and I, I have to get going on another story. But um, I guess he, you know, it was the best thing about this was is that, like I said in my update last night, is that Joe felt loved um, over the weekend from all the people from all over the world who reached out um, that, you know, that were caring in their minds for him and praying that he would make it through this. Um, the vet thought he would make it through, but obviously you never know when you go in for surgery and in the condition that he was in, having been thrown from a van that was moving down the road, um, he just didn't make it. That's the sad part. And uh, I guess we all have to come to terms with that, right? All right. So, okay. Keep it together. Um, but that doesn't mean we can't forget about all the other animals. And so many of you animal advocates had reached out to me um, over the weekend and said, you know what, there's Joe, but there are so many other uh, dogs out there that can be helped. And no, Crystal, you know, if you go to the beginning of this, when you, um, when I've finished with it, Joe passed away during surgery. Um, so there are so many other animals out there that can be helped and that need to be helped on a daily basis as been told to me by the, the um, countless number of animal, animal activists who have reached out to me over the, over the weekend. Um, so, and that doesn't mean you still can't donate to, you know, animal charities and also to the San Francis Veterinary Clinic in uh, Spring Hill, Florida. You know, that doesn't mean you still can't donate because there will be other animals who will go through there um, who their owners may not have the finances because we all know how expensive it is for veterinary care. Um, so, um, yeah, the, uh, someone's just asking, Luann, um, I hope they catch that woman. I put a call into the uh, Pasco County Sheriff's Office, still waiting to hear back. But again, um, the description, her description is she's 45 years old, a heavy set white woman. Um, wearing glasses, blonde hair, pulled back in a ponytail, um, and driving a white or a gray minivan that day. Um, that's all they have. That's all they have to go on right now. And um, hopefully, um, for everyone here's sake that has, you know, uh, has uh, been following Joe over the weekend, um, yeah. Yeah, hopefully they will catch this woman and bring her to justice. She, once they do, fingers crossed, once they do, she will face one count of felony animal cruelty. Felony, obviously, not a misdemeanor, but felony, a much, uh, much, uh, much worse charge uh, of animal cruelty. And um, the vet said, and I think this is best because I've got to get back to work on another story today, that heaven has just gained. Heaven has just gained another um, angel. So he went over the rainbow bridge today, and as we always say, he's in a, a someone, that dog, Joe, is in a much better place. And uh, probably looking down on us now. And saying thanks. Thanks to you. Take care, have a good day, everybody.